rates have been on the rise, house values are at all time highs, that cannot be good for the real estate market. Well, f me. This can't be good. Or can it? Stay tuned. What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles. And thanks so much for checking out the video. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. So interest rates have been on the rise lately and they are continuing to increase. Back in January, they bottomed out at about two and a half percent and now they're sitting just over three and that is gonna play a role in how much you actually qualify for. That will affect your purchasing power. Of course, a lower interest rate, lower monthly payments, higher interest rate, higher monthly payments. So what actually is gonna happen if you wanna keep a set payment every month, the purchasing power goes down to offset that higher interest rate. Now you can buy in higher interest rates with all time high property values. That makes it sound like the market's getting worse to be a buyer. But Brandon, you said we could be heading towards more of a buyer's market. What the fuck? Well, that is true. I did say it looks like the market is going through a little bit of a shift and that video should be up here somewhere, but Hear me out, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Interest rates do affect property values. And if we see interest rates go up, a lot of times we will see property values come down and vice versa. If we see interest rates go down, we will see property values go up like we saw last year in 2020. And when we compare interest rates to property values, we like to use the rule of 10%. I call it, someone may call it something different, but what we are saying is if interest rates go up 1%, Property values will need to fall by 10% to keep that payment roughly the same and vice versa. If, value, if interest rates go down 1%, we should see property values go up 10% to keep that payment the same. Are you following me so far? Let me know in the comments down below. So you're saying the market's gonna crash? No, that's not what I'm saying. With the fact that interest rates are on the rise, we should expect to see property values actually cool off a little bit. Now, right now, inventory is incredibly low, but what time of year is coming up? Summer time. And in the summertime, we typically do see a surge in inventory hitting the market. So then when you see more inventory coming on the market, again, you will see property values come down a little bit. And that is what we need right now. Inventory. Now I'm not saying we're gonna see a huge dip in the market, but if interest rates go up and hopefully, cross your fingers, more inventory hits the market, we should see those property values come down a little bit or cool off for the next couple months. Keep in mind, this is gonna take a little while. So just because interest rates go up, property values don't fall Im immediately. So we're, you know, expect this to be over the next three or four months to see those property values cool off because if more inventory hits the market, that means buyers have more to choose from meaning not as much competition, meaning values don't get bid up so high and you can get that property at a little bit better deal than you probably could today or last month. But there's so much demand still that you're still gonna see some bidding wars, but hopefully not 100, 200, $300,000 $300, over asking price. Which is what I mentioned in that video. If you watched it, if you did, let me know in the comments down below so I could say thank you very much for helping. So it may take us a couple months to actually see those property values reflect reflect the higher interest rates, but also keep in mind with the fact that interest rates did go up, you are also gonna see a number of buyers that say, you know what, I missed my shot. I don't want to buy a property anymore. The values are incredibly high. Interest rates are on the rise. I can't get a 2% interest, 2.5% interest rate anymore. I'm done, I'm not shopping. That means you don't have as much competition who is dying to get a property this year. Am I right? And that is something that will also benefit you guys not having as much competition because there's not as many buyers out there because they gave up because interest rates went up a little bit and they don't get to lock in the absolute all time lows. Guys, interest rates are still in the threes. We are pretty much at all time lows still. Take advantage of the low interest rates. I guarantee you in 10 years from now when you're talking to your buddy who just bought a house, and he says, yeah, I locked in an interest rate at 6%. You are gonna be so stoked that you got that 30 year fixed mortgage at three and a quarter percent or 3%. And he's gonna say, man, I wish I had taken advantage of that time, but you know what? I wanted to get an interest rate at two and a half and they went up to three, so I didn't buy. Now at this time, we're not sure how high interest rates are gonna go. Interest rates follow the 10 year treasury. 
when the 10 year treasury fluctuates, so do interest rates. But they are predicting that interest rates over the next 90 days to still go up, but not exceed three and a half percent. So just know you are still getting a good interest rate at this time. Buy a house now, don't wait till it's at three and a half percent. Try and get it at three, three and a quarter, man, come on. So the fact that interest rates are going up means not as many people are gonna qualify. The fact that we're approaching summertime means more than likely more inventory is gonna hit the market. More inventory hitting the market means not as much competition, which brings values down which is why I'm saying I do see us heading towards a little bit of a shift. Take advantage of this time, guys. Do your due diligence, find a good agent, find a good lender to put you guys in the best position for buying a house this year. Ultimately, guys, this is not a bad thing. Interest rates cannot be at all time lows forever, just like property values cannot be at all time highs forever. Something's gotta adjust, everything in life does, right? So to me, I don't think this is bad at all. I don't think you guys should be worrying about it. I think this is just gonna make it a little bit better of a market for you guys who are thinking about buying a house this year and provide a little bit more opportunities than we have seen over the past 12 months. We wanna put you guys in control this year, make it more of a even playing field. If it's a buyer's market, great. If it's a seller's market, you know, whatever. But ultimately I do see it just being a little bit more even playing field for both sides. Good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you made it all the way through, let me know in the comments down below so I can say thank you. And while you're here, make sure to hit the subscribe button as it does help grow the channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.